All right, hello. So one of my subscribers slash friends on YouTube, Jason, had said that I should do a live reaction to the two trailers that we have here. And I had watched them and was reviewing them. And then I was about to head in and I saw Jason's comment saying that I should go over and do a live reaction. So it's been more than 26 because i been standing on this page for a few minutes just recollecting my thoughts of what to go over and review i'm going to start with a uh, cinematic trailer first because they flipped them for some reason and then i'm going to do the game boy trailer okay so like i said or like i was i was thinking like i really love this aspect here once this is done also really quickly wanted to point out I just noticed this. So not only are loot sharks still in, this fish resembles a lot like the zero point fish. I'm not going to edit this video heavily, so if you want to see what I'm talking about, just look up Chapter 2 Season 5 Zero Point Fish. It gave a special effect. And, okay. Instantly have to pause it because there's just so much here that we're going to be doing. This season, I, I guarantee you, if you want to get your friends into Fortnite, make it a fun season. This is the season to do it in, especially if no builds is still here. Like, this is giving me Chapter 2 Season 3 vibes. Not the whole map covered in water, but even then with it covered in water, because the summer was coming out, there was still that aspect of party. So we have stuff like inflatables on the water, boat ramps, and a giant coaster which we'll get to in a second um and then i i don't know what this is See, these platforms were just like the ones that we had in season three when the map was flooded so i definitely expect to be seeing more things like this um for glide for these people gliding these are possibly some of the new gliders don't take my word for it but it's a very good possibility because they'll use these two trailers to showcase everything in the battle pass but we just may not know it i also like the reference of uh, i've said that you know um season three of chapter two vibes and that's me also i believe it's a boat this time so he's actually doing water skiing it's not with a shark okay so Ballers haven't been in since Chapter 1 are back, which is awesome. Uh, we actually also have a lineup of a lot of skins. They repeated the same skin twice, apparently. We have Cobb, Human Bill, Crystal, Beach Bomber. Uh, I want to say that's Beach Drift. There's definitely Beach Brutus. And right there we see Vader and the Stormtrooper, King Flamingo, Fabio... And two of the new skins and little whip in the background there. These two, I'm. This is so. Let's play this again real quick. Okay, this is I believe tier one. Everyone thought this was going to be Switch exclusive skin, but it was part of this battle pass because different colors, red and blue. And then this is another skin in this battle pass. Oh, that's actually probably going to be a new emote. What they just did there, that handshake. Um, okay, so now this, this scene right here. Okay, I had to point this out because I instantly, the first thing that came to mind, the Stormtrooper is too short. The first thing that came to mind is the scene where Luke is saving Leia and he goes over and she makes the comment that he's too short. And Vader's helping him out. And it's also the same type of Stormtrooper as well. And this is also to show off Ballers a little bit more. The fact that Vader's targeted in on him and actively hits his shot this time, unlike the movie. And right here... So it looks like a lack of boss POIs, probably, this season. I don't expect to have too many, but... I like what, what's happened here. The loopers have taken all the stuff from the war to celebrate their win. If you see here, it's a bit of the Zeppelin. 
this is um this is part of the shelling that kept uh the balloon together so once that broke the whole thing went down as we saw in the live event which i'll be posting a reaction of oh i didn't see it i didn't see him there yo he actually did make it into the trailer oh uh, i should do more trailer breakdowns thank you jason all right the man himself my main skin guaco he made it so did tomato head uh, well, okay, this is a, one of the Valentine Day skins. Um, I, I'm not sure. I want to say that's not one of the Tron skins. That's not. That's one of the party skins. Um, Night Light, I want to say. I'm not too sure. That's not Wonder, but Wonder has definitely come up a lot for me recently. Uh, thanks to Sparkles, QT, and uh, Cypher's 50 Fashion Show. Oh, Ninja was there, too. Doggo, Millet Marauders, Sync 6 skin. There was Teeth in the background. There's not much to uncover here. That was Fire Spinner, or a knockoff of. All right, and right here, plenty. Not too much plenty, actually. Skin breakdown, because I can name almost all of them, except this one back here. The Imagine, Bloom, The Foundation, Paradigm Fade, Tracy Trouble, Penny, Bush Ranger, Jonesy, Prisoner Jonesy, Guff looks like Lars, the scientist, Indiana Jones, the secret skin of the battle pass. He's out of render, live with it. Power Court Aura, the origin, and the visitor. So we got like all star cast right there. I didn't notice this. These reality butterflies, which we saw um, the Cube Queen crush. Okay, now this is something... I'll point this out real quick. So this looks like the zero point when, um, during the Season 6 live event, at the end, like, at the beginning of Season 6, slash the end of Season 5, also party bus, so maybe the battle buses are staying, but these are the blooms that we saw in, um, that event, and there's also the possibility that Avatar could come one of my friends messaged me and told me about it. And I have to agree with them. It makes sense because it looks exactly like the tree from Pandora. Plus the colors of like blue and all the glowing and stuff falling. It gives the vibe of Avatar. And if one of the movies releases during the summer. Or they might just do it because of the fact that it fits so well. That we could be seeing Avatar. And now off of Avatar... The mysterious character that I'm sure is going to have every fan questioning in the lore and all that of who this is. And I will tell you, because I am not a leaker, that I have an idea of who this is. And this is someone that's going to be like the last reality. And for those who are new to the Fortnite lore or just don't know exactly what the last reality is. The last reality was the alien race in Season 7. That introduced the Cube Queen and almost destroyed the other half of the island slash the Chapter 2 island. And this is another being that I think is in between realities and has probably almost the same amount of power. They look a little bit like Bloom. Also, I have to say with the live event, I really thought Epic was going to add another collaboration skin because Geno looked like Ultron and that's what I shouted as soon as I saw him. It was indeed not Ultron, but I think this is going to be another character that has similar abilities to um, The Last Reality, but definitely probably more powerful because they're holding like the reality of the island and are probably drawn to its power. And right here we can see all the different skins. Yeah, they're oh, they're dropping out of the bus onto the island. Okay. I was doing a recording, but then I had to delete it. I, I flubbed too much. But they're dropping out of the bus because you see the islands there. I didn't even see the bus down here, but you could see gliders. Um, it doesn't look like we have new Contra. Well, actually, yeah, that. All of that right there. That's probably a new Contrail this season. And it definitely looks like probably one of the more cleaner ones, so... Oh, she's got earbuds. I did not notice that. But yeah, that is the cinematic trailer, my breakdown of it. And now for the gameplay trailer. Okay, this one I'm really excited for. 
So I had made the prediction because when I was doing the event with my friends, Mr. Kananat, um, and uh, one of my other friends who for the moment will remain anonymous, um, this is the fortress. Uh, what's left of it, to be on, to, to be exact. And really quickly, off the get-go, this is an email we already have called, I believe, Beansack. Why? No, not Beansack. Hopsack, probably. Okay, I had to pause it there, sadly, but... This is the Switch skin that we saw at the beginning of the cinematic trailer. We can ride animals now. So hogs, wolves, raptors, if they're there, probably not chickens, but if they, we can, you'll be seeing me ride those a lot. And this is Snap. It'll be basically the new Omni Sword. Um, later on down the road, we'll be seeing more things resembling him. This is something I actually want to talk about that I forgot to moments ago at the beginning of the cinematic trailer. This reminds me a lot... This right here reminds me a lot of the Fortella because it's a lot of these storage crates put on top of each other, bolted together, and just to make, like, you know, like a, a giant facility. Um, this is another email we have, but new skin, new skin, new skin, new skin, new skin. These are already basically all the newer skins we're getting. Because there's five, there's one unaccounted for... I don't think it's that one. That one's already an item shop skin. But this one, right here, look what she's got in her hand. It was clear moments ago. So if you watch back or go to the trailer and watch this, or I could just not be lazy and rewind. Fortnite Vivin. Okay. It's a fidget spinner emote. So I expect this to mean that a lot of emotes this season are going to be more fun. This is going to be a fun season. I guarantee it for you guys. Already, like, aesthetically, the trees are different colors. It's more vibrant, more happy because we won the war. The mushrooms, I don't really get yet. Probably going to get the lore of that later on. And we right here have, like, three new items revealed. This buzzsaw gun cuts through wood just fine. I don't know about anything else. But, right here. I am not sure what this is. At first I thought it was an AR, but looking more closely at it, it's like hunting rifle, sniper, scoped AR. We have the buzzsaw. Junk rifts are back. Like, the baller is there, but here's the rift, and right there, splashing down is a car. And look, like, it's junk rifts are back. I don't know what the, I'll have to watch this a little bit closer. Um, but, and then this one right here, this is the new mythic for Indiana Jones. Um, right here. Okay, so, obviously it doesn't do like the little bar of how much ammo is in it and stuff. And it doesn't, it doesn't, it might be a sniper. I wouldn't be surprised. But rangers are definitely still in, that's good. Alright, and now the ballers. Now, I also pointed this out in my flubs once it comes up. Okay. <laughs> we have the main man of the hour himself, Indiana Jones. Um, and I, I definitely like already. It looks incredibly accurate. I, I definitely want to see styles for him, though. I don't think we're going to get styles for Vader, and I would have loved, like, an Anakin style, uh, an Anakin Skywalker style, or something other than Vader. Also, I have a, can't really see it, Fortnite cup. It's nice. Just wanted to point it out. Anyway, back to the review. So, Indiana Jones, I expect Harvesting Tool to be his whip. Back bling probably going to be the monkey idol that he swaps out for the boulder because the scene they reference right here, him running from the boulder, and then him swinging from the boulder, just like he did with his whip. I should probably rewind and see, because I, I know I saw Meowsles. This is definitely gives me Chapter 2, Season 3 vibes. Okay, so it was Jules and Meowsles. Like, we're getting references to Chapter 2, Season 3. 
because me also was used to promote it so much. Jules was one of the biggest tiers. That also... Is that the Burst SMG? Nah, 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 nah. Probably not. Keep in mind, it does look a lot like it. It's small, it's gray. The only guns that I've seen that are gray, not including wraps, is the Burst SMG. Alright. Okay. Oh. Oh, right here. Okay, new wing glider. New... That looks like a crab. That looks like a weird crab. Um, beanbag. We have grimy there. Bloom looks like... Okay. We're going to continue on. All right, we have joy. All right, here we go. The Happy Meal skin. On it, like, okay, so I'm going to explain why I'm calling this the Happy Meal skin. If you look, it's connected by, like, the ball points. And, like, oh, someone had to have known these or seen these or had these at some point. Anyone ever get, like, the Marvel or DC comic action figures that you could break off pit bits like their arms or their legs and then add bits of other characters? So you could have Spider-Man with Ultron's leg but Iron Man's arm and Hulk's body, you know? That's what I get the vibe of is him. He's our new Omni Sword, and he's really customizable. I mean, look, like military pants, but then he's got baggy pants and different shoes as well. Different heads. Like, this is like a ghost shadow. This is su sushi. That's a toothbrush. I find that amazing. It's a toothbrush. Um, but I feel like this... I hope it is not a pain to grind because I'm, I'm going to be tearing these things okay chimera by far the hardest because if you miss like a single week of collecting stuff he's got a squid arm that's nice if you miss a single week of collecting stuff during then you did not finish chimera and i was think i was thankfully lucky enough to get it i then put tuna fishes next because if you weren't grinding enough to get rainbow ink you also then had to get into battle labs and go from that route he's got a p9000 arm that's nice um, and then following that, I would put it for Haven, and then I'll put it at the Omni Sword. Omni Sword's been the easiest by far because you just had to collect three chips at different POIs and do seasonal quests. Nothing extra needed. So, and final review of all of the skins that we're getting. These are all six. This is the only one they haven't used to promote big in the trailer, and I'm not sure what he is, but new emote, a new sitting emote for the, the, like, the vibes of summer. So, you know, you can get your friends in, I'm telling you. Also, I'm not really sure to describe the wolf, because I've never seen them sit like this. This is definitely going to be something new. All of these are the skins. I would rate it tier one, tier two, third skin I could see, fourth skin, fifth, six. That's what I rate it. Vader being tier 100. I definitely feel like she will be the one before Vader, though. She'll be one, two, three, three or four or three or four. He's definitely a five. Or he'll be the four or three, and he'll be a five. He's probably actually more likely to be five. He's four. That's what I put it as. Okay. So. All right. Now let's just wrap this up. Oh. Uh, okay. I got to go back real quick. This is a, this, the tree is a POI on the island. Um, okay. So you see a bigger example here of me talking about the zero point and the zero point blooms. And this is this is not that far from Greasy. I actually say this is directly north of Greasy and south of uh, Command Cavern. And I actually say this is by Camp Cuddle. Reason being, if you look here, that's one of the shacks. That's the shack on the mountain of Camp Cuddle. Or that's the one that we constantly see Cuddle Team Leader in. Especially with like RVs in the backgrounds and other smaller shacks and stuff. There's also a reboot van here, so you know it's a big POI. Um, and, and, like, 
I think I heard the name of what this POY is going to be, but I'm also not sure, so I'm not going to say. But it definitely gives the feel that it's got something to do with the zero point. So, a final overview of all the skins. And now, the bit to be most excited for. Okay, Vader himself with already showing us his pickaxe. Or, of course, <laughs> he's going to be with a mythic. And there you have it. That's my overall opinion and overview of the two trailers. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.